Yes, you dread getting out of bed with no locks to twist. Mad that you still a slave for that job you picked. Well, you better catch the wave. It's a quantum shift. I'm like, don't waste your time. Working for crumbs. At least do what you love or you learn to be numb. I'm making love to these beasts till the currency comes. Turn my Lyft app back on tonight. I haven't had it on in a few days, but the last time I had this app on, it didn't have percentages. But this is what they're doing now, like 110% and all this. So I did a ride tonight. Somebody canceled on me right there. I got eight bucks for it. But this one had a 10%. So the person paid like $35 and I got 36. And it was a black SUV. And then the first one I took, I just wanted to see what they were charging from my house to Tempe. So I picked up a guy right next to me. He was like 0.73 miles away. I picked him up right next to me and brought him to Tempe. Dude paid almost $20 for that ride. <laughs> I got $7.98. He paid almost 20 bucks from my house to Tempe. It's $20. I'm like, wow. From the airport. I live by the airport. The airport to Tempe, they pay like $9. They're charging 20 bucks. Look at this. Nuts. Nah, I doubt it. Doubt it. Yeah, they're not paying nothing tonight. Look at all this. This is just pure trash out there tonight. I haven't really worked all week, as you can see. I haven't done anything this week. I went out tonight to see what was going on with these little bonus zones. So you can see a turbo. That was me just taking that quick ride from my house over to um, Tempe real quick. Then had a black SUV when I got up there like about 1244. You know, I went like nine miles or whatever. Real quick, they tipped me a couple of bucks or whatever. Well, no, actually, it was waiting on time. That's what it was. Wait time. Yep. So the wait time, they haven't tipped me yet. That's cool. No problem. Then the passenger canceled. Then these bonus zones started popping up. So I was wondering what they were. Because I've been seeing that percentage. I just haven't driven yet. So this ride paid $9.91 for two miles. It was just a regular lift. Like two miles paid $9.91 because it had that 30% bonus on there. I was like, cool, no problem. I was only a half mile away from the guy. Picked him up, took him a mile and a half. Fine. So that little 30% bonus zone was doing fine. But then the bonus zone started getting bigger. I saw 140% on one. This was 100%. So whatever the fare paid, the, the lady paid $87 and tip eight. So she paid a total of like $95. Out of the 95, I got 85. So living up with like 10 bucks. But this is the crazy thing. So because the fare was 38, the bonus is 100%. So when you see these 140% zones, 160% zones, 150% zones, they're paying you whatever the fare is plus because 100% is double the fare. So you're getting it. This to me is better than surge. Just saying it's better than surge. And I was seeing tonight, I saw up to I think 150%, 170%. It was crazy. 140%. It was nuts numbers all over the place. Let's see what they got right now while I got the app open. Let's see. Let me put it on regular. Ride type. Let's go all types. Let's see what they got out there. You know, like 50%, 40%, 40%. So if the ride is 10 bucks, they're going to give you an extra five on top for the 50%. If it's 20 bucks, they're going to give you an extra $10 because it's 50%. So that's kind of how these percentages work. So you say what you want to do is look for bigger rides. So if you get a $30 ride, it's going to be a $45 ride because they're going to give you 50% on top of that. When it's 100%, 100% like me, they gave me a $38 ride, but then they thought a $38 on top of that. So it ended up being like $85 or something like that. Crazy with the tip and everything. So I was like, that's what I'm talking about. So like I said, this was the ride. It was $38.76 and it was only going uh, 23 miles right up to, up to 17. I was like, that ain't too bad. So I picked the people up. I was right around the corner from a 0.19 of a mile. They were like right around the corner. So I went around the corner, picked them up, took them 23 miles, and that was it, $85. I was like, damn, not bad, not bad. So that little 100% bonus zone, it, it works a lot better, in my opinion, works a lot better than Surge. So we'll see what happens if, you know, over the next week, what these numbers kind of get up to. Because like the airport is saying 30%. So what you want to do is look for you, you know, a, a $50, $60 ride. $60 ride on top of that, you're going to get 18 more dollars on top. So you end up with a 78, almost an $80 ride. So you want to look for the higher, higher numbers, not the little piddly numbers. Like I said, I did a piddly number just to see what would happen on this bonus zone here because I was right around the corner from the guy. I mean, I was 0.56. So basically, two miles paid $9. Fine. Let's do it. Almost 10 bucks. Let's say 10 bucks. So I was getting $5 a mile on lift. And it was no surge. It's that little, little bonus zone crap. 
So I don't know. We'll see how this goes, though. I'll, I'll probably try it out next week. I haven't driven all this. Like I said, this week, I didn't drive at all. I just been in the garage busy. I've been doing stuff. I haven't really been dropping content. I've been, you know, knocking these cars out, getting paid for these cars, doing private rides and just knocking cars out. So if you if you got anything to do other than drive, trust me, get it together because it's about to be a slow winter and these apps ain't trying to pay. This little lift percentage thing looks pretty cool, though. What's up, y'all? Back on the mic once again. And I told you I'm always keeping 100. Now, you haven't seen me post a lot of content lately because I've been out, you know, working in the garage a lot. I've been on the road for I went out tonight for about an hour and a half, made about, you know, 150 bucks in about an hour and a half. But to me, like I said, you got to know your worth. No matter what you do, whether you're creating content, whether you're working on these apps, whether you're working for a company, you got to know your worth and never sell yourself short. And and I appreciate the support I've been getting on YouTube. I really do. Because a lot of you guys, you know, you come here, you get that information, you get that inspiration, you go out, you make that money, you come back, report the base camp. I appreciate that. And some of you guys are supporting me through the membership group. Now, you notice I haven't been posting a lot in the membership group. Because a lot of people have been supporting me on Cash App and Venmo, making sure that I can, you know, got time to edit and record and, and create content because I could go out and make money like everybody else. I can go out and drive. Or I can go out, get a W-2, or I can go out, work in a garage, make my own money, or I can try to create content and make money. Now, YouTube, Google AdSense is not paying right now. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, ever since August, ever since they started flagging my channel for whatever reason, I think it was political, they've not been paying a lot. A lot of advertisers probably see us going, hey, these guys are Trump supporters, don't pay them. These guys are this and that, don't pay them. And so maybe they're, they got YouTube not paying anybody who they knew was supporting a certain candidate. My channel happens to be one of them. I've been out making money doing other things. Cause I, like I said, I know my worth. I'm not going to be outside, you know, every day creating content, getting 500 views, 800 views when my views should be four or five, 6,000 per video. I know what my videos do. I know how we go out and make money. They don't like the fact that we talk about making money outside of technology of us being human, talking to people back and forth, creating client bases, creating our own businesses. Big tech doesn't like that. Big tech wants people relying on tech. This channel digs into the psyche of humanity and how we can make money just being human. This channel's not gonna go that far. I told y'all a long time ago, my channel's gonna get shadow banned and it's been shadow banned. People are hitting me up, man, I didn't even know you were still doing videos, man. They not sending me no notifications. So I started telling people, hey, email me if you wanna be on my email list. My email is always in all the descriptions of my videos and my live streams. Email me, my Cash App, my Venmo, always in all the descriptions of the live streams. You guys wanna support the content? You guys wanna support the channel? I can do it. If the channel's not getting support from YouTube and not getting support just people viewing it because like I said, AdSense is not paying because they're not sending notifications out. So I'm not getting that, that normal revenue I used to get. Cool, because I can go make two grand in about a week in the driveway versus waiting for a whole 30 days to make two grand. I can make it in one week. So if I do a transmission every week, I'm making eight grand in my driveway where I can only make 1,500 to two grand on YouTube, but it's posting constantly. I'm gonna go for the money. And I tell everybody who watches this channel, this channel is about making money. I gotta practice what I preach. I'm not trying to be famous off of this. I don't chase fame. We out chasing, you know, staying away from poverty. We out chasing making a living. I'm not trying to go in debt, just trying to make content. And that's what it can become. It could become a, a whirlpool of just going down cycle and not realizing what your content is not doing for you. And you keep thinking that the more I post, the more I'm No, nah, it doesn't work like that. These algorithms are very systematic. They're very purposeful. When you have a channel like mine and people say, well, just find your niche. It's not about finding your niche. You have to promote what this out, what the algorithm promotes, what Google and YouTube promotes. You have to promote that. We know a lot of these channels that that go for Kamala Harris booming. A lot of them that go for Trump, you don't see that many views every once in a while. It's like, wait a minute, you should be getting way more views. Oh, you're a su Trump supporter. We're not stupid. We know what's going on. So for everybody out there who still hit me on the cash app, hit me on the Venmo saying, hey, Jeff, man, just supporting you, supporting your, you know, podcasting career, you know, get this going, man. I know YouTube don't support you. We got your back, brother. Hey, this is why I drop videos every once in a while instead of it's like I used to do, because when YouTube was paying very well, I was dropping videos two, three a day doing, you know, 15, 18 live streams a month. Now I'm rather making my money doing other things because, like I said, I'm going to get this money. 
I'm going to pay my bills. I'm going to have a good life. I'm not going to allow technology to run me. Just like with Uber and Lyft, what do they do? They try to run you all the way down to the point where you're taking shit rides all the time. So they got you. YouTube don't have me. See, I can make money doing other things. A lot of creators out there who don't have other ways to make money, they're stuck. They're pigeonholed. They got to keep pumping out 10, 15, 20 videos a day, starting four and five channels. I don't have to do that. I can go out in the driveway and make money. Tons of people, hey, Jeff, man, you working on cars or what? Yeah, hey, man, I need like lower control arms. I need a set of struts. I need, cool, let's do it. Let's get it out of the way. I make the money that day. I don't have to work 30 days until YouTube decides to pay me or not. If they decide to advertise on my videos or not, I don't have to wait that long. All you people that are in the membership group that I got, do me a solid. Thank you so much for being a part of that membership group. Thank you for helping me with that. But I'm telling you now, I'm not posting much in that membership group. You do not have to be in that membership group anymore. If you say, hey, Jeff, man, I was only paying, you know, $3.99. I'll just cash out you to five, four, four, five dollars. Man, I just cash out you that every month because YouTube's going to take the money anyways. That's what they do. I'm going to cash out you straight up, Jeff, man. Hey, just thanks for dropping content, man. Here you go. I mean, I can at least give you a dollar a day for the content, man. You know, this and that. Appreciate you helping me learn how to make money, learn my worth, learn my value. Appreciate that, brother. Good luck with your podcast and career. Because I'm still going to do it. Whether YouTube takes care of me or the people who listen to my content and watch my content take care of me, I'm going to get this shit going. Because when I want to do something, I get it done. I If I want to be a driver, do I drive through Uber and cry to Uber and Lyft? No, I work around them. I go directly to the people, and that's how I get paid. You need a ride from point A to point B? I'm not going to cry and complain to Uber and Lyft. I'm going to go straight to the people. I'm going to get the money, and that's what I teach you. YouTube should know that. Because if I want to be a podcaster and people want to support the channel, nothing is stopping y'all from supporting me directly through Cash App or Venmo. Nothing's stopping you. You can don't have to buy a membership. And I'm glad the people that were in a Vibranium group have been allowing that to go. Because, I mean, I had about six people in a Vibranium group. It's down to two people, which is amazing. Because I feel you should be getting something worth your money. If I'm not posting in that membership group, because I just don't have time to post membership and external like I used to because YouTube's not paying, then thank you for discontinuing your membership. I told you, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it real. If you say Jeff's not posting nothing in his membership group, why I'm a member? That's something that's a good question. Ask yourself. But I'm telling you straight up because I told you I'm going to keep it 100. I'm not posting nothing in that membership group right now because YouTube's not allowing my channel to flourish how it should be. This is good information on this channel. Ways to help people make money. Ways to help people, you know, save money. Good information. But YouTube, because they don't like the type of person I am or the type of people I support. They view me as, no, nah, well, we're not going to support his channel. Well, fuck it then, because we're supposed to be YouTube partners. You don't support me, I don't support you. So everybody, cancel your memberships. Do not be on a membership group on my channel. If you want to support my podcast career, there's other ways to do it. Jeff, keep at it, brother. Get on that microphone, man. It's $5, brother. Thank you, man. I just, I did a, you know, $60 cash ride today. They was trying to pay me $13, $60 cash ride. I learned that shit from you, brother. Here's $5, man. Appreciate it. Here's a tip. You can always, always in all my videos, my live streams, my cash app and my Venmo is right in there. Feel free. Like I said, you ain't got to, but some people are appreciative of the information, appreciative that I fight for people, appreciative of it. Even though I know these apps and this tech is not trying to pay me for being the way I am, I'm not going to let them talk me down to a lower standard of delivering information to you, delivering inspiration to you. I'm always going to be 300, always going to be fighting these big ass giants out there, but you can keep trying to hold me down, but it's not going to stop me from taking care of my people, keeping my people out of poverty, teaching people how to save money, teaching people how to talk to people to make Make money not gonna stop me from that so youtube can be like jeff we're gonna kick you out of the partner program cool whatever i still got people willing to support me and that's what this is all about people supporting people not relying on technology and that's why they scared of me that's why uber scared of me that's why lyft is scared of me youtube gonna be the same way and i'm not one of those people to sit around waiting on advertisers to take care of my life i'm a grown-ass man i work with these hands i know how to make money so if y'all out there making that money trust me I'm proud of you for that. Proud of you for being on this channel. Proud of you for supporting what we do on this channel. Proud of you for supporting each other. Because all of us are in this shit together. We're all fighting against tech together. Proud of the 300. Like I said, this channel is going to still be here. I got another channel running. I got other apps. I got other, you know, platforms running. 
no matter what happens to this channel i'm always gonna be here know that they can't hold me down forever they can't hold me silent forever just like facebook tried a couple of years ago and what happened the shit backfired on them just like the harris campaign was trying to silence everybody by pay guess what happened shit backfired on them the truth will always come out and we will always stand victorious in the end just know that appreciate y'all 100 j watts this is the barbecue we always gonna bring all the smoke and we gonna keep it 100. <laughs> panther with my battle fatigues and blend with the trees committing penalties you ain't assembled with me we the three double zero a villain superhero angel hall like the Nero. cigars like bureau celebrate the hating that we get cause it's like that despite that despite that you can put the pipe back your jaded crack baby from the 80s cause you tripping time keep on slipping but i'm gonna keep on lifting all my people out of poverty with missions and assignments 11 11 caddy cause i stay in the alignment i'm bringing all the smoke to your choke cause i'm on one i'm not done i fear no man do not run the shit that you got is all the shit that i had i've been up now i'm on my landing pad like spacex